Hi folks, thanks for tuning in to the Dinosaur Soft Cell Tissue Research Project. And uh, I've got some exciting news to share with you. I've been working uh, hard on uh, some of these cells that I have on slide that I've stained uh, with a DNA stain. And I want to show you some really neat pictures uh, that I'm starting to get uh, with the fluorescent microscopes that I've been able to put together. Very expensive microscopes. Uh, wow, I'm running out of cash fast. But uh, beautiful microscopes with uh, very high resolution cameras. And uh, so I'm going to show you some pictures of that in a second. But I've been a little remiss because uh, a lot of you folks have uh, donated to the GoFundMe project. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about uh, who's done that. Uh, Bubba Tulip. Uh, you donated $100. Thank you and God bless you. I appreciate it so much. John Covey, good friend. Appreciate you, brother. You donated $50. Thank you. Uh, James Allen uh, also donated $50. God bless you and thank you. Uh, the Cook family from Australia, Nathan and Laura and the whole family, uh, donated $150. God bless you guys. Uh, down under and I'm glad that this work is uh, is impacting you. Ron Steele, you donated $20. Thank you so much. And Isaiah Harrison donated $200. Uh, this is very, very important. And I have a little sad news to tell you. The transmission electron microscope uh, is just about dead. It's almost completely dead. And it's very expensive. It's expensive to run. It's about 5,000 more uh, than that sometimes uh, a year to run. And excuse me, we've just run into some problems with it that are way too expensive for me to handle. So I'm sad to say that uh, we're going to be giving up the transmission electron microscope. Uh, which is really sad because uh, I really wanted to thin section these cells and, and peel the top off of these cells so I could look inside and uh, I just I can't do it anymore folks I'm sorry I just don't have the wherewithal to maintain this kind of equipment uh, the scanning electron microscope is still running very nicely but again it's very expensive to run and uh, I'm coming to the end of the road here. I, I hate to put it in those terms, but I'm literally coming to the end of the road and uh, will not be able to continue this work much longer. So uh, I hate to say it, but the electron microscope laboratory may go away completely. And uh, that's, those are just the bare facts. I'm sorry. I've carried it as long as I can on my own. And uh, if somebody would step up, and I mean somebody serious, and would donate uh, 25 million dollars. Wow. What a research institute we could have. 25 million. Uh, I know that's a high goal, but there are folks out there who could pool together their resources and they could pull it off. And so, uh, so just to show you some of the uh, cells and things that we're seeing under the light microscope now, here is a cell. Now this cell was stained uh, with uh, acridine orange, which binds to double-stranded and single-stranded DNA. And so this is what it looks like just in regular bright field before you go to the fluorescence microscopy. And now here you see it in fluorescence microscopy. And, and of course, we're, we're hitting it with one wavelength of light and it's glowing. You see these discrete points of light uh, from the cell, which are indicative of DNA uh, in the cell still. Uh, and so this is a great test to show the presence or absence of DNA. Here's another cell uh, under the fluoresce, I'm sorry, under the bright field microscope. You can see the outline of the cell, the filopodia and things. And now here it is under fluorescence microscopy. And look at those discrete points of light, which are indicating DNA in this specimen. So we're very excited to have these kind of results. I think I'm going to move the laboratory into fluorescence microscopy. I hope I can keep it running, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know, folks. This is uh, somebody needs to step up. And even if you can donate five thousand, ten thousand, uh, twenty-five thousand uh, dollars, that will carry me for a couple of years in the laboratory. So. So I, I, you know, I'm doing the best I can with the resources that I have, but I'm running out. The, the tank 
is almost dry. And so if you want to see this laboratory continue to find these kind of things that we can present to our evolutionary friends and preach the gospel to them and show them that these dinosaur cells still even have the DNA in them. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, but I need your partnership. I cannot do it anymore by myself. And I'm, I'm not going to sound like a, a broken record uh, over and over again. I'm just laying it out there for you. And uh, I'll report as long as I can. But pretty soon, we're going to go off the air if we don't get some support. So pray about it. Uh, talk to your friends. Uh, talk to physicians who are uh, doing well in their profession. Uh, talk to people in the music industry or in the movie industry who have a heart for the gospel of Jesus Christ and tell them we need this laboratory to stay online and uh, help me out. So God bless you. Thanks for your support. Keep praying and uh, keep watching, and hopefully we'll get better and more discoveries as we go along.